Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In the last several videos, I talked about computer physical ports. Today, my topic is computer virtual ports. In computer networking, virtual ports are also known as software application ports, or logical ports, or TCP IP ports. Any TCP IP application uses a virtual port identified by a port number. Virtual ports are used in both TCP and UDP to identify unique end-to-end -end connections. They are called virtual ports because a single physical connector can serve multiple logical connections. We borrow the term port from airports or seaports. We have different types of airports for different purposes. Commercial airports for passengers, cargo service airports for delivering or shipping cargo, small or uh, local airports for agriculture or private jets. Different seaports also serve different purposes. Fishing ports are for fishing and leisure. Naval ports are for the military. Container ports are for shipping and delivering cargo. Each different port serves a specific purpose. We cannot use one port for everything. In the same manner, a computer on a TCP IP network has only one IP address in general, but the computer can run multiple applications at the same time. Just one port is not enough. Thus, the computer needs different virtual ports to handle different TCP IP applications. A computer can get a different TCP IP data traffic on the same interface, virtual ports identified by port numbers are useful to tell them apart. Port number 80, for example, means HTTP web traffic, not secure web traffic. Port number 110 indicates is email traffic. Port number 443 is secure version of web applications. And port number 22 is a secure version of a telnet traffic. To send the data to the correct service at the destination, a computer needs three addresses, IP address, port address, and MAC address. It makes perfect sense if we compare it to a mailing address on an envelope. Take a look at the receiver's address. The receiver's name, John Smith, the street number, and the street name, city, state, and zip code. And this is a typical mailing address format if you have ever used a snail mail or a postcard. Computer IP address is like a street name, city, state, and zip code. The port number is like street number 1234. MAC address refers to a specific person. If IP address is an apartment, then a port number is a room number of the apartment. MAC address refers to a specific person living in that room. With all three addresses, a computer can communicate over different networks by sending or receiving the right application data to or from the right destination. Next time, I will talk about port numbers, different categories of port numbers, and some well-known port numbers you should remember. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.